Implicit Revelations case study note, I'm in my morning marathon and been doing a lot of really amazing work in my own personal journey with the Abstracting Navigational Associations method, social self-engagement practices, and daily marathons um, with the intention to expand my personal practice of mere play with mere power, creative connections. So using all the concepts and the intentions, um, but while integrating other of my concepts and modalities and practices in that very specifically focused journey of inner child liberation. And um, uh, something new um, came up in the unveiling transformation marathon is that when I'm at two to three feet away from the mirror, it's a space of navigational pattern activation. When I'm at seven to eight feet away from the mirror, and this is central vision, but also the partial to mid right visual plane um, in terms of mirror coordinates. <clears throat> and um, when I'm at seven, eight feet in those spaces, it's a different region of navigational patterns. But if I do different mirror coordinates in a different sequence of activation with elongated space of each activation, I can get to a totally different navigational pattern that I've never gotten to before. And this is a combination of unveiling new layers because of all the transformation that has happened and unveiling new layers because of the shift of sequence of mirror coordinates. Um, and so that's part of what makes the unveiling journey so complex and like a really enjoyable challenge for my brain to like serve as a guide through because there's so many variables and applying them effectively is how you get the precision of the actual technique in full tangible experience and application. And so the um, space of the activation, the duration of the activation, and the sequence of the activation of mere coordinates is what determines which, you know, 10, 20 navigational patterns out of like five, you know, 5,000 or 50,000 potential navigational patterns you're actually connecting with and activating in the body-mind and thus affecting and influencing and rewiring consciously while reunifying with specific self aspects that are linked with those regions of data. Okay, and so very specifically, this sequence um, with, you know, anywhere from like two to eight minutes in each space, um, instead of time, it's more about reaching the five stages of implicit experience while practicing the five steps of social self-engagement. But it's 15 feet away, and this is especially partial to mid-right visual plane. Um, 15 feet away and then after a full activation there and reaching some extent of the implicit experience of social self-engagement then moving to eight feet away and then I'm seeing a brand new space of navigational pattern and so I spend time there and I can tell because the projection of navigation is completely different if I don't do this and I'm just hanging out in these individual spaces like I mentioned at the beginning where it's like okay it's a couple feet away and then I'm eight feet away this exact sequence causes a completely different style of projection of my own experience in the mirror. And so I can tell it's a different region of the body-mind providing navigation. Um, and so after spending quite a bit of time at 15 feet, then going to 8 feet away, and after spending elongated time in that navigational pattern, then moving to about 2, 2 and a half feet away. And then again, I'm in a totally different navigational pattern of the body-mind than if I had just gone to that mirror coordinate without doing the other mirror coordinates in a very specific sequence first. Um, and if I go straight from 15 feet to 2 feet, that's also going to be different than lingering in the activation of that pattern, navigational pattern and data of the body-mind at 8 feet away. And so every space of the mirror in terms of the distance and the vantage point, if you will, you know, are you looking up, are you looking to the right, are you looking a little to the right, are you looking all the way to the right, are you looking straight ahead and how far you are from the mirror, um, visual plane, visual distance and visual circumference, um, along with the different mirror coordinates in relation with my personal dimensions theory developed originally through the implicit revelations case study, then there's also the sequence of activating the mirror coordinates 
and the duration, how long you spend in each mirror coordinate as you activate. Like, are you, you know, standing still in one mirror coordinate for like 10, 15 minutes while practicing social self-engagement and fulfilling attachment needs? Or are you standing in that mirror coordinate for five to 10 minutes while just having like a guided experience through the unveiling process, which is very different than fulfilling attachment needs? Or are you um, very slowly moving and you're not standing still in any mere coordinate at all? Um, and so the duration and then the style of activation, um, like I just mentioned, like are you fulfilling attachment needs, actively practicing all five steps of social self-engagement to reach all five stages of implicit experience? Or are you just practicing the first three steps of social self-engagement and you know exploring a meditative journey of your own experience or you know you can also do mirathons with like breath breath work breath play or um uh you know while you're like doing you know biohacking or something and you're like you know shaking it out or you know doing exercise or um listening to something um and just maintaining eye contact with yourself like there's a lot of different ways to practice it that don't necessarily have the five stages of implicit experience and relevance so the style of activation is important and with the style there's also the subtle variable of what state your own navigation and regulation is in because if you're in different states of regulation in the brain and the body and different activations of the style of navigation anyway you know like um, if there's already instinctive styles of internal navigation that are going on, that can also be a really subtle variable. And so I'm really learning to work with all these variables and know how to interplay with all of them to still achieve very precise results with which regions of the body-mind you're trying to unveil, which parts of the self you're trying to reconnect with, and then like what you're doing with that information. Like Once you have unveiled that region of the body-mind and its navigational patterns, once you have reconnected with those parts of the self, then what are you doing with that window of opportunity? Um, and so there's like so much potential and it's so exciting. And to see the continued transformation in my own life is mind-blowing. The amount of experiences in the last, you know, three decades of my life that have been rewritten in terms of how they're stored in my body mind and the way that the navigational patterns have shape-shifted to affect the feelings and movement patterns um, from the inside out and to affect the sense of connection and unification of self aspects um, even through the greatest challenges has been profound beyond measure which is what makes me so excited. Um, if any of this uh, interests you and you're like, what the heck is she talking about? Uh, feel free to explore my free introductory playbooks for Mirathons. They also have uh, video libraries and lots of um, pages of amazing texts that are very insightful and inspiring to explore. Um, I frequently reread them just to reconnect with the deep purpose and, and power of the Mirathons themselves because they are very sacred. They are very sacred journeys. They are very intimate journeys. They are very... Um, heart expanding journeys they are very um, soulful journeys and um, they really create effective and enjoyable transformation in so many areas of life from the inside out in a way that is gentle and loving and profound and impactful and fierce and ferocious and soft and tender and everything so please feel free to explore those and yeah implicit revelations case study notes gonna get back to my marathon <laughs>